How's it going guys? It's Nicolette from Nicolette Ivy Photography and today I'm going to be doing a story time because I haven't done any of those with you guys. And I am here with my lovely boyfriend because he was also kind of part of this story. Was. Also he wanted to be in this video. <laughs> so um, let us begin. So yeah, so I'm going to be telling you guys, as you can probably tell by the title of this, I was stuck on a mountain for like hours uh, for a photo shoot, which was pretty fun <laughs> to say the least. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is Eric. I don't know if I already said that or not. So whenever I say Eric, that is, that is him. And you'll probably see a lot more of him. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see if this goes well. If you want it. It was about last year around this time in March? Sure. Of <coughs> so sorry. Bless you. I got contacted by some people at um, my school that I knew who had just gotten engaged and they really wanted some photos done. And I was just like, of course, because I was new at the whole photography thing. I was trying to build up my portfolio. So naturally, I was just going to do that. So we decided to go to this really beautiful mountain-esque area. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want you guys to come stalk me or know where I am. Don't make that face. We decide, okay, we're going to do it on this day and everything will be great. So I drove up there. It took me about an hour to get up there or maybe more. And we decided to meet kind of like in a little town before you drive up this mountain lake thing. And um, we would meet and just kind of be like, okay, yeah, let's just follow each other because I had never been there before, but the couple had. We decide to follow each other up, you know, to the location and it starts snowing. Like it wasn't snowing anywhere except for like on the path to this place. And so it starts snowing and I'm like, oh God, this is not good. Cause I was in a little tiny Ford Fiesta. It was like a little bean car, basically. Oh, barely. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it has gone through some things, let me tell ya. But anyway, so I'm going, I'm driving up there and it just starts snowing more and more and more and more and more. And I'm like, oh crap, like, Oh, I'm from the Midwest, so I'm used to driving in snow and stuff like that, especially in that car, because that's the car that I learned how to drive in. Um, but, like, this was bad. <laughs> this was, like, really bad. <laughs> like, it was a blizzard. Basically, we end up driving to this, like, little clearing. I mean, it wasn't clear of snow or anything, but it was clear of trees and stuff. So we drove there. And they were like, oh, hey, jump into our car because we have an SUV and it can do way better in the snow than your car, obviously. And so I'm like, okay, great. So I get into their car and we just like go on to the shoot and like take some pictures and everything's fine. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know, like this shoot will be free and we can do a reshoot because the um, the weather just kind of crapped out on us, basically. We get done with our shoot and we drive back to my car. <laughs> and my car gets stuck, basically. It like, there was so much snow. There was like four inches of snow, probably. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe even more. It was like up to like, like, there. It's not me. four inches. It was a lot. <laughs> Just so it you know. Was, okay. I'm not lying to you about how many inches are, but that is not four. Okay, well. That. Never claimed to be good at math. So, yeah. I'm trying to get out of my car, and it is, like, deep snow. And even their SUV got stuck in the snow for a while. But, of course, like, they pushed it out, and they were like, okay. So I was still stuck and I was overheating my car from like trying to get it out. So then basically they tried pull, pushing my car out too for a while. And then eventually like, you know, we're doing that for maybe like half an hour. So then they come up to me and they're just like, oh, hey, um, yeah, I have work. So we're going to go. <laughs> 
uh, are you cool here? Like, do you have cell phone service? Like, is everything fine? I just want to say that that's one of the worst things you can do to a person is leave them out in freezing snow. Yes. Hey, I'm in the middle of editing this, but I just wanted to mention that I'm not mad at them or anything. It was just a total miscommunication, so please no hate in the comments about that because it was crappy. So it was really awful, but I didn't realize that, th that at first because I looked at my phone and it sh didn't say, like, no service or anything. So I was just like, oh, okay, I'll just, like, call my boyfriend Hi. or um, call a tow truck and everything will be fine. And I was just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. You can go, whatever. And then they left, like, just, you know, just left. So I immediately was like, okay, I'm just going to Google a tow truck and, like, get out of here and everything will be cool. It was not even five minutes after they left that I realized I had no service. Like, I couldn't look anything up. So I immediately, like... I didn't have their actual phone number, which, tip, always get their actual phone number. <laughs> uh, don't just use Facebook because that, because then you'll get in situations like this. Um, so yeah, I tried messaging them on Facebook, being like, hey, um, nothing works. I'm still here. I, it didn't send, so I was just like, dang. So then I called you. And that's where I come in. And that's in. where Eric comes in, because he was basically what helped me out. I saved you somehow. Somehow. Well, like you were... two hours away while just sitting on the couch. Yeah. Um, I don't, uh, so, let me take the yes, reins here Yes, you can take the reins here so, for a second. So, I get the phone call. I'm already here. I've had a couple of drinks, and I can't go and just pick her up, obviously. Um, cause drinking and driving is bad. I had tried to call the tow company for her and they had told me that she was going to be out about $400 worth of distance away from where they were going to have to pick her up and bring her back in the way that they charge you. And then, and you had to call me back twice because Several you... times cause I didn't know your location. Yeah, the like time, they needed to know. Neither did you and they needed an exact location and that wasn't something that either one of us was able to provide. So I thought, okay, what about you've got car insurance? A lot of car insurance companies have the free roadside assistance. I was like, okay, find your car insurance card, call them, and say, hey, I'm stuck in the snow. I need you to come pick me up, and they'll send somebody as soon as as soon as they can. It might be a while. And what you called them, and they were going to be two hours or so out. And you yeah, had that was out, a whole You had already been out crazy... there for like three hours plus. Not, no. not just being stuck in the snow, but totally you had been out there for like three hours. You're going to be stuck Two or three hours, yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, but it's like the best situation and it was free too. Like, Yeah, so I actually have a funny story about that whole thing. So I called them and they were like, okay, we need to know an exact location. So I had to like get out of my car. I was not wearing like any kind of snow gear and I was like, like trotting around in the snow that was like this high like almost to my freaking knees like trying to find like an address like some kind of like location i was just like there's a porta potty over there that's all i knew this is the best i can do and i even found an address but apparently it wasn't an actual address because the lady tried to find it and was just like ah, not showing up weird that was my car insurance that I was talking to and some guy came while I was on the phone with Eric and he was just like oh hey do you need help and I was just like yeah do you have a rope or something he was just like oh no I left it at home let me go back and find it so and I'm thinking this guy's saying fuck it I'm gonna go get an axe yeah basically it's what I thought yeah. personally as the worried boyfriend on the other end of the phone that guy's not going to get you a rope, maybe so, but it's not to tow you out your car, it's to tie you up. Yeah. And an axe to cut your head off with. And that's not cool, people. Yeah, so he left, and I was just kind of like, ah! He came back, and he was just like, yeah, sorry, couldn't find anything. And I was just like, oh, it's fine, because I just talked to my insurance company, and they're going to bring a tow truck. So he was just like, okay, cool, good luck. And then he left. Um, <laughs> and so then... 
the tow the insurance company called me back and like three weighed me with the tow truck and the guy was like yeah so we're coming from like an hour and a half north of you no it was like, like two hours north so of where i was away. yeah and he was just like, yeah, we're not going to get there until about 9 p.m. And even then, um, I don't know if I'll be able to find you. And also, it's going to be, like, pretty much freezing. So I don't know if we'll be able to even get you out. So then I started freaking out. It was getting late for it being that Yeah, it was, like, 730, and it was, like, the – it was getting dark. <laughs> so I was just, like, sitting there, like, oh, my God. I might be here all night and I don't even know where I am. <laughs> and then the thought came up, came to me and it was just like, flash your lights. Which is an amazing idea. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Obviously in, in a do or die situation as such, do that. Yeah. So I did that for like not even five minutes and a guy with a truck came and I was just like, oh God. <laughs> And he's just like, oh, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, I'm stuck. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm from around here. People get stuck all the time. And I'm like, you don't say. He was just like, yeah, let me try and, like, push you out. Great. Oh, yeah. And he was, like, a firefighter. Wasn't he, was he, yeah, he was a retired firefighter and he was an uh, off-duty uh, corrections officer or something. Yeah. Right? See, that's why he's here because he remembers the things that I don't. Details person. Yeah, let me just, like, try and push you out. And then while he was doing this, this other couple who was, like, old, too, with a Hummer come in. And they're like, oh, hey, how's it going, guy? Like, haven't seen you. How's it going? And they're just, like, all three just, like, pushing my car out and they're like oh yeah and i like explained my whole story to them while they were pushing my car out while i was like pushing on the brake and why were you pushing on the brake not the brake not the brake no no it's about the to say, other you brake. were making those old people work <laughs> so hard the gas pedal you've only got two pedals in your car love not a car person that doesn't matter Whoa. that's why i'm a photographer i hate driving um <laughs> They push it out in like five minutes and I just remember just being like, oh my god, you're a godsend, I can't believe it, bless, bless up. It was amazing and then I finally got onto the path back home, literally started crying and then as soon as I got like any kind of service, I called my mom <laughs> and she was just like, what happened? And she had zero idea that any of this was happening, so called her called him, came back. It was like 9 p.m. I was freezing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. While I was taking a picture of the beautiful view on my phone, a like big snowball from the tree like hit me in the freaking eye. And um, and like it was burning and I was screaming and it was very overwhelming. <clears throat> that was my story, guys. I, our story. Our story. Jesus. Including Eric. Including me. Featuring Eric. Featuring Eric. Boom. Boom. FT period Eric. I will be avenged. So very avenged. So basically that was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Could potentially learn from me. Like the Avengers. If you like this. Uh, subscribe. Comment. If you liked Eric, comment, please comment. Like, subscribe, and you'll get more of it. Yeah, you'll get more. Do you want more? If you really hated me with a burning passion, let me know. It feeds. I'm just really hungry. Let me know if you liked it, and if not, then that sucks. <laughs> yeah, like this video for that amazing burp if you got to the end. <laughs> Clickbait this amazing burp in the end. <laughs> don't don't skip. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And marker. Bye.